What's up gentlemen? So I've been telling you guys two of my favorite things in the whole world warm weather and clear water and check this out right behind me Absolutely just gorgeous water out there. It's crazy how your surroundings just some different weather Some blue water just makes you really happy and this makes me happy and especially since we got the boat We're going back out here on the boat straight out to sea over there. There's some rigs over there I haven't heard of anyone fishing these rigs right here. I've never done it so we're gonna try. The water's warm, man, the water is clear, so there's no telling what is out there, honestly. It could be anything. All right, I think we're ready to take on these massive waves. Let's hop in the boat and get far, far out to sea. All right, come on. Let's yank this guy out there. Oh, don't even gotta be too worried about stingrays right now either. You could just, you be able to see them, unless they're too camouflaged. Crazy. I love this. I love water. I love, dude, I just want to drink this water. It's beautiful. But it's salt water, so I think that might be a bad idea. It looks tasty, though. Wow. Motor's in the water. Now, let's start up. I did warm her up at home. That's, that's the key, I think. Warm your motor up at home so you know you're good to go once you get out to the water. That was an enthusiastic pull. Well, we gotta do it. Great tool. This is the way I do things. Let's go. Third bar right here. Look how big that gut is. one right now we got the rigs right here they look from from on shore they look a lot bigger but there can definitely be some fish here so let's get some of these lines out right here and just troll around a little bit we got a lot of time so we're gonna try some different stuff different stuffs actually I'm using the same exact lures I had last time going offshore we've got the Rapala 12 which caught us a nice big jack last time and then we also have I'll show you I'll show you it once I cast it all right keep in mind this is not this is a short rod, it's a boat rod, not for casting, all right? <laughs> and lure number two, the beautiful, big, I was gonna say little, but it's a big lure, the big Halco. You ready, Mr. Halco? I always think the Halco is gonna do, do the work for us. And it does sometimes. The last time, the Rapala did it. I don't care which one gets hit, I just wanna get a hit. I'm thinking I'm gonna want, at least on this rod, we're gonna wanna have a lot of line out. Just because water's super clear, it's midday, fish might be uh, a little bit more skittish of the boat. So we'll get it away from the boat, and that's the plan. There's definitely stuff. Oh, look at this huge school of bait. That is freaking awesome, dude. That is freaking awesome, man. That's awesome, dude. That's a good sign, I think. Dang it, dude. We just had a fish on, and uh, it broke off, because I don't have wire. I was too arrogant to put on freaking steel leaders, man. Good thing we have another Halco right here, ready to go back in the water. So I'm trying to rig up my other rod and I just had an insane freaking run. He just took off the speed of light. I had the motor on, so that added a little bit to it, but this is something. I, I, look, we're not even that far from the freaking rig, already hooked up. Dude, I think there's a lot of freaking fish out here. Whoa, there's a lot of fish, man. There is a lot of fish here. Three bites within like 100 yards, and that's, and that's trolling. That's insane. It's a good thing we put on that steel leader. I don't know, man. I think I might have to use steel leader every single time now. Can't, can't go losing two lures that quick. I've been fishing those rigs way farther over there, about five, 10 miles that way, and uh, they haven't been too good. And I come out to these rigs, I've never heard anything about, and we're catching fish real quick. Or at least we're hooking up. Well, the fact he's staying down like this, he's, I can't even see him. 
It's pretty clear. You still can't see him. What do we got? <gasps> what is it, dude? Wow. I can see like 20 feet down. That's not super, super clear. There he goes. Now he's pulling. Well, that's still pretty amazing, man. Compared to what I'm used to in Texas. Oh, man. Yeah. He just, he don't, he doesn't, wow. He does not like the boat. Golly, look at that. It's like he was suction cup to the bottom like a stingray. That's how strong he is. What in the world? Wow. Oh yeah, baby. There he goes. I knew this was a big fish. He wasn't acting like it though. There was a boat right here and they, no. I thought we lost it. Oh, we're good, we're good. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. Maybe I just need to shut up. Oh, there's a, it's a king! And there's a shark on him! Oh my god! Kingfish! Dude, there's a freaking shark on him! Oh, that's the first time that's happened to me. That's awesome, dude. Oh, man. No wonder he was running. Golly! A little bit spooky, man. I, I'm telling you, man, I see kayakers come out here, hang their feet over the side, and I just don't see how they do it. That was a tiny shark, about five foot. But still, and this guy got chewed up. This is freaking awesome, dude. Look at this guy. Man, Woo! that's a meaty guy. That is a meaty freaking fish right there. God, that's a nice one, dude. Let's go. I did want to release these guys because I don't have a fish bag. I do want to keep some fish, but if the fishing's on fire, we might have to stay out here a couple hours and we don't want to have a... <sighs> yes, dude, that's what I'm freaking talking about. Yeah, man, he's messed up. Let's go, baby. Look at that, man. That's so freaking sick, man. I love big fish. Like I said, I did want to release this guy, but since he got chewed up by a freaking shark, we're gonna have to keep this man. Halco coming through. This little, what is this? The, the another, I actually had, both of these are fathoms. This one's the level wine. I actually really like this level wine for trolling because you don't have to guide the line in. I always say I've caught most of my kings without having any uh, steel leader, just straight mono. But today it looks like we're definitely gonna need it. Look at that, there might be a guy, oh, oh, yep. Might be something. Might be something. That might be something. If I could get it off the, ah, he dropped it, fellas. Nope. Yeah, he dropped it. Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I can't tell. He's running towards us. Turn the motor back on. Yep, he was running towards us, man. Sometimes you gotta use the motor. He's under my, I don't know. We might be tangled up. Oh man, yeah, he's hooked weird. It's not a giant, fellas. Dang it! Oh, I thought we had a mastodon. He's just foul hooked. <laughs> what, how, how? Someone wanna explain? Someone wanna explain how he gets hooked like that? <laughs> what, this genius, dude, this genius. I don't know. Damn, there's another big one though. Not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but he's just foul hooked. We're not gonna, we can't keep a foul hooked fish. So we'll just let this guy go. That's another big one though, man. I'm surprised this one didn't get sharked. Oh shoot, lost him. Oh, he kicked off. Yes, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, he's swimming off. My man. Well, I would love to stay out here longer, catch some more fish, but we got this guy right here and he needs to get on some ice real quick. Reentry successful. And this water is so damn warm. That's why we're catching those kings so easily. Oh, we did it. Yeah, we got this guy right here. Oh, look at that, kingfish. Yes, sir. Wow, how long did that take? Ah, <laughs> not too long. Got some big that rods. Awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty what nice a one. Was yeah. he pulling you around? Yes, sir. It's called a boat rover, and I just 
I make I make fishing videos, so. Oh yeah. Boat rover. All right, it's time to clean up that kingfish. Hey, you know what? We also get to measure that guy. Only problem, he's in a couple of pieces. It should be, should still be a good measurement though. Looks like this guy was about 44 inches. Not a bad guy and I'm holding him up right now and he's pretty freaking heavy. So pretty much what we're doing, we're staking this guy up and we're making pretty thick steaks. If you want to cook these steaks pretty much whole, you want to make them a little bit thinner. And I think we will make some thinner ones as well, but what we're going to do, we're going to take and cut a little circle. It's just like little circles of meat and they're super tasty. Ugh. Just in like that and just follow, follow along those circles. Easy peasy. Boom. And then you get a nice little chunk of meat right there. We're just gonna marinate them in some Italian dressing. Just get your favorite Italian dressing and a plastic bag and you're good to go. Look at that, that's a lot of meat right there. There's only about half of it too. And we still have two fillets. The thing about this method is you do waste a little bit of the meat, but that's not such a bad thing because this is kingfish. I'm only one person and kingfish have a lot of mercury in them. We're gonna pop this guy in the fridge for about an hour. Let it marinate. Now what I would love to do is cook these guys up on the grill outside, but it's dark outside and I don't got a grill. So we're gonna have to use the trusty old stove. I don't know if you noticed, but that kingfish meat didn't look exactly white, but when we cook it up, it turns pretty white and it's pretty freaking good too. See, I always thought kingfish was not that good to eat because everyone always just makes fish dip with them and doesn't eat them like as the main meat. But I cooked them up one time and it tasted amazing, especially when they're marinated in that Italian dressing. Italian dressing is actually my favorite dressing, so perfect. Woo, hot, 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 hot. All right, so we got our kingfish and it's looking like, they're looking pretty much like little, little fish steaks right there. Now, now this is the true test though, because we did have that kingfish off, off ice, just in the sun for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer than that. Will it taste fishy? Let's find out real quick. Oh. Okay. We shouldn't have left it. Just kidding, it tastes good. Yeah, dude, not fishy at all. Hey, I love you guys very much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Catch some kingfish and eat it up. It's pretty good.